Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic audio and video related products. Well today we're taking a look at an audio piece of kit and what we're looking at here is the Marantz MPM 1000. It's a microphone, a vocal microphone and um, just put my headphones on so I can actually hear myself. Uh, it's very bizarre actually when I do these uh, YouTube channels I never wear my headsets checking the audio to so actually uh, record audio and check it through my headphones it's quite unusual but i'm doing it because i'm using this Marantz microphone which is a vocal microphone and i thought it would be handy for me to be able to hear how good the audio is being recorded onto my zoom h6 recorder and so that's what we're testing today it isn't designed for video production per se although obviously you can use it within video production you'd need to put it on a boom so it's out of shot but it's the way that it picks up the sound that i love and great for podcasting for radio for uh, voiceover artists and this kind of uh, this kind of malarkey i mean it's great for that now i've got this particular microphone uh, wired into i say wired via an xlr cable going into my zoom h6 recorder it works with pretty much all recorders that take an xlr input as it is an xlr microphone um, it also requires uh, a 48 volt phantom power so the zoom h6 uh, can provide that and i've got it going into channel one with 48 volt uh, set on channel one and that's actually powering the microphone so that's basically the setup now what it comes with it comes in you know a nicely packaged box nothing exciting about the box but it comes with um, everything you need to get going apart from the audio interface whether it be something like the zoom h6 a tascam recorder a, a sound mixer that can provide phantom power most of them can these days um, it comes with this shock mount which is great that helps absorb you know uh, movement um actually has got two threads it's got your standard uh, mic i don't know what the sizes they are but a standard mic thread and the smaller one that comes with that i've got it modified onto a light stand with my zoom h6 on it as well so um for me this combination works really well i can see the audio levels on the zoom h6 that works great for me so i can actually see what the audio levels are doing um and I can hear that it's picking up the sound beautifully. It's really, really nice. I have got the supplied windsock on the microphone. I will take that off in just a moment so you can hear it without the windsock. Um, but I'm really pleased with how that's working. Now, this isn't a soundproofed room. It's just my home studio um, and uh, it's not soundproofed whatsoever. So if you can hear noises in the background, you may or may not be able to. Uh, that's because of the, the environment that the sound is in. I've also done a test recording at the office so you can hear what the sound is like from a different environment. Um, again, it's not soundproofed, it's just your run of a mill office. I've now connected it to my Zoom H6 handy recorder and this is the Zoom H6. I'm really enjoying this recorder. Um, it's really good for a number of reasons. A, it's got your manual uh, tactile analog controls for adjusting the audio levels. Very quick and easy to set up and uh, get recording with a really large LCD display. Um, and you actually know it's recording as well. So um, that is the Zoom H6. But we're actually here talking about the Marantz mnp 1000 mmp mpm mpm um anyway i put a description below the marantz 50 quid microphone um i can't get over how good this microphone is value for money uh, and i say i'm in a non-soundproof room and i think a lot of podcasters that are do doing podcasting won't be in soundproof booths they'll be working from home small studios whatever so you know a decent mic like this and you would be you know uh, doing your podcasting probably with headphones on or you would have a sound recorder even if you haven't a sound recorder would be wearing his head his or her his or her headphones um, so that's the Marantz MPM 1000. It is a condenser microphone, so it does require that 48 volt power. It, it isn't dynamic, so it hasn't got its own power. You will need to plug it into a source, uh, some form of audio interface that can provide power to the microphone. Um, it's audio pickup. It's cardioid. 
I think I've got it right that time, is cardioid. So it's kind of a heart-shaped pattern. So the sound is actually directed pretty much at where you see the label. You don't know if one can see that on the close-up shot, but where the Marantz logo is, is where it's picking up the audio from, um, in you know, mainly. So if I move around to the side, if that shouldn't be anywhere near as loud or as clear as it is if I uh, talk into it here. Likewise, if it went that way, uh, the sound level will go down um, and it won't be so clear because it isn't, although it isn't a directional microphone, it is designed to be pretty much direct, direct behind the logo. Um, I mean, it drops off as it goes round, you know, round the back of a microphone. So, um, and this microphone is incredible value for money. It's 50 quid here in the UK. And 50 quid, it comes with, as I said earlier, the shock mount, the windsock, and a 2 meter XLR cable. So, you know, you can't go wrong with that. If you're just starting out in podcasting, you're starting out, you want to do voiceovers, and you haven't got a great deal of money to spend, I would say get this microphone. I don't think you will be at all disappointed. I really like it. I bought two of them and I really like it. And so here we go. Now let's take the windsock off. You are going to hear a bit of a noise as I whip it off. Whoa, that was noisy, wasn't it? <laughs> so that's now uh, the microphone. It's, it's a nicely made microphone. Um, this casing is, you know, it's metal construction, so it's pretty decent. Um, I don't know if that windsock has made any difference. We, you, you, you be the judge, because the audio you're going to listen to throughout this entire video is the audio coming from this Marantz microphone. So, um, you know, so you can judge for yourself what you think of the sound quality from this particular microphone. Um, I think the windsock does help with the S's and the, and the P's and pronunciations and what have you, I don't know. Um, but there we go, that's the Marantz MPM 1000. Great value for money, 50 quid. I shall leave a link to my Amazon affiliate link uh, in the description. So if you do want to buy one, you can buy it through Amazon. Doesn't cost you any more, but I make a few pennies to help me, you know, keep the channel going and grow the channel. So uh, that's always helpful. So thanks for that. Um, if you do enjoy my videos, please subscribe to the channel. You'll always find plenty of content to do with uh, video and photography and now some audio. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Really appreciate that. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos relating to video and photography. Thanks again. Bye.